How's it going everybody? This is Jeff May with Team Real in the Blues. I was going through some of my videos, reading some of the comments and some of the questions, trying to get caught back up. And the question kept coming up, how big my live well was, dimension wise, the length, the width, and how many gallons it would hold. So in this video here, I'm going to explain to you how to calculate exactly how much water your live well holds. People will be surprised how much water you can fit into a small space. A 12 by 12 by 12 cube, one cubic foot of water is actually 7.48 gallons. That's a lot of water in that little tiny space. So I'm going to give you a quick and easy down and dirty how to calculate how much water your live well actually holds. You got to figure out what the height of the water is in the tank. When it is full, how much water does it actually hold height wise? My tank has two overflows, one on the left and one on the right. They're inch and a half. And I have a single pump in the back that pumps 500 gallons per hour. Once I get a fish in there, if I get during a tournament, I'll have three fish in there. I'll turn the pump on. The pump constantly pumps water into the tank and then it pumps out. My tank, when it is full to the point where it's starting to overflow, is about 72 gallons, which is way more than enough water to keep any three, four, or five fish alive. Because as long as you got that water flowing and constantly turning over, all the stomach contents they get rid of or expel or they vent, it all flows out and goes out of the tank. So what you got to do, you know the height in inches, and what you do is you figure out how wide your tank is, how long the tank is. And I'll show you on some uh, drawings exactly how to calculate how much water you actually have. Well, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. So here's a picture, and I'll try to give you a thousand words to go with it. So what we have here is a 40-inch long live well. It's 22 inches wide, and at the water line is 15 inches. It looks complicated, but this is very simple math. So all you got to do is you take, we do it in inches, 22 inches times 40 inches times 15 inches, equals 13,200 cubic inches in this entire tank. 13,200 cubic inches. Now, you take those 13,200 cubic inches, you divide it by 1,728. What the 1,728 is, 12 times 12 times 12. It's one cubic foot. So, one cubic foot is 1,728 cubic inches. So, 13,200 divided by 1728 comes up to 7.6 and a couple other numbers, but let's just round it off to 7.6 cubic foot of water. Then it's just basic math. 7.6 cubic foot, you can get 7.48 gallons in every cubic foot. So, 7.6 times 7.48, it comes up to 56.84 gallons. Sounds complicated, but it's really not. Just remember, Width times length times depth. Divide that by 1728. Whatever number you get, multiply that times 7.48. And that'll give you exactly how many gallons your live well holds. Thank you for watching, and I hope you got something out of the video. Now you can calculate how big a tank you need to build to go on your boat to haul those monster catfish. Thank you for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them and I'll try to answer them. Thank you.